How's it going, YouTubers? Electron Man. Hope you're doing good today. Well, uh, I guess this is uh, number five of my uh, my weekly uh, garage sale series. As far as uh, what I uh, what treasures I found on my garage sale hunt over the uh, over the weekend, it's a pretty tough weekend again. I tell you, um, I wish I could. I wish there was a better way to filter out the garage sales. Um, you know, you run into so many of them that are just clothes and shoes and, and, and houseware. And, you know, you'd love to have pictures ahead of time because, you know, obviously early bird gets the worm, but you can only be at one gross at a time. But uh, anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to pull up some, some stats for you and show you. I'm going to start doing this every week, kind of give you an idea of the real world of exactly... Uh, what a what time and uh, and how many days and how many garage sales I hit, etc. Um, hit a well, let's see. I hit seven garage sales on Thursday. wasn't a whole lot of activity. A little bit. I hit uh, what was it? Twelve garage sales on Friday, and then I hit fifteen garage sales on Saturday. And I actually hit one uh, garage sale on Sunday. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's quite a few garage sales. I traveled about 120 miles. And uh, here's what I got to show. You know, obviously, there's lots of stuff I could have picked up. But, you know, I'm, I try to be kind of picky. I've got limited room. And I'm not just trying to be a hoarder. I'm trying to uh, pick up quality items or get good deals. So uh, we'll kind of go through this week and show you. I had a few couple pretty good scores. But, uh, again, kind of light, you know. I, I'd love to find a find a really really big like ten family garage sale that had a lot of good stuff, but you know that's that pipe dream we all have. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and kind of go over what we did this week. Um, I picked these guys up here, and um, they're actually marked twenty four ninety five a piece, but it's a little deluxe AM uh, alarm clock radio with a with a flashlight. I bought these uh, um, because uh, well, I actually had six of them. They're brand new in the box and. Uh, and they, uh, he wanted uh, two bucks a piece for them, and I offered him ten bucks for all six. So, what well, I've got about a buck eighty in each one of them. And and my thought behind these are, man, these are, they're brand new. They'd be great stocking stuffers uh, at Christmas gifts with Christmas coming around the corner. So, picked up this oddly. Uh, I found this six uh, QF seven or six G or six CG seven brand new RCA tube. I picked it up for a dollar. I haven't checked comps, but I'm sure it's probably 10 or 12 bucks. And that seems like that's a pretty uh, pretty common tube. I think I've actually done a restore on a radio before that's used that tube before. So for a buck, I was tickled to get a brand new tube. Um, bought this little, uh, I don't know what do you call it, multi-plug stander for, uh, for a wall socket, which you can always use these. I like this one because it's got a light on it. And uh, I picked it up for 50 cents. I thought that was a bargain. That's something I can just use. I uh, picked up this little Casio TV. Yes, I know we're all digital now, but it does have an audio event and input. And it was kind of just uh, more for the the nostalgia of it. I picked it up. I mean, it was a dollar. And uh, they said it works. You know, these things were like 100 bucks new. But uh, anyway, who knows if I have any use for it or if it has any resale. But for a dollar, I just couldn't help myself but to pick that up. Picked up this little... Uh, mount wall mount timer this you can actually uh you actually mount this in in your wall socket and it's a uh, it's a 24-hour timer which i thought that was pretty cool i went out there and looked at console and that's about 20 bucks so uh, i thought for a dollar that was a good investment and i actually might hook that up in my shop to uh have my lights automatically turn off and on i mean i can think of several uses for that but for a dollar brand new in a package with all the instructions and everything couldn't go wrong with that one of my best finds was this right here i found the samsung uh r540 computer here it uh didn't come with oh shoot i can't open it um screens in mint it's actually other than it's got one little scratch here this thing is in mint condition it's got dvd player in it um it's an i3 um i went up there and kind of checked on it um it's a definitely uh um you know provided that it works it did have enough battery power that i powered it up and saw the screen was functioning and uh, it did come up, you know, uh, and, and it, said it came with a low battery warning shutoff. So I found a uh, power supply for it on um, Amazon for 10 bucks. So I got that coming. Hopefully the battery is still good in it. But I gave 10 bucks for that. And I think that was probably my best score of the week. And that, that's definitely a $150, $200 uh, item there. And it's actually uh, something I could use. I mean, it's an i3. I don't know about the memory and all the other specs, but 
you know provided that it works good that's a that's a good score for ten dollars even without the probably why it sat there and i got it was because it didn't have the power supply with it and uh but i could tell the lady was nice and honest and she said yeah yeah it worked fine we just uh i think she actually said the dog ate the cord on the power supply is why uh why it doesn't have a power supply probably why it ended up at the garage sale so i think that was a really good score for 10 bucks i didn't even that's what she had on it and i just uh i didn't even argue with it. in fact i got a uh i'll have to find it i got a wireless keyboard i believe i got with it i don't know where it went i'll have to hunt and see if i can find that but uh anyway i got that and then let's walk over here the other pretty good score i would say is this guy right here found some nostalgic uh, pioneer speakers and um, i think they're like a cs44s looked out their comps anywhere from 100 to 200 dollars on those um nice set of speakers they're in really good shape they could use a a little cleaning and a little uh probably furniture oil but i think you could bring those back and look those look really nice as well i got this nico uh japanese uh and it, there is a little bit of a following for it i mean it's not what i'd say high end but it's kind of in the pioneer range it's japanese made she said it worked but it's gonna we're gonna have a video on a restore on that because you can barely turn any of the knobs. You can tell it's just so crusted up. It's been sitting so long, but I think a good clean on that. And I don't think, I think she said the lights are on it, but it still works. So hopefully, like I said, we'll dig in there and see what all we got. I'm sure it's going to need some LED retrofit and have to clean all the, uh, the pots on it and, and, uh, do a, do a review on it. But I think that's a, I've been wanting a little, uh, you know, stereo for out here on the bench. You know, I was doing that tape deck and I didn't have any RCA input or uh, amplifier to run it. So I think this is probably going to end up being a, little bench amplifier i don't know about the speakers i might resell those uh, there's definitely a following on them of course the problem with them is the weight it'd be kind of hard to sell i'd have to do a craigslist or something if i want to resell those um what else did i pick up got this fan here brand new in the box for a dollar i got this uh, uh drill doctor drill sharpening kit i can actually use that got that for two bucks um oh i picked up this acer AL 1912 monitor. Um, actually, it'll clean up real nice. She said it works perfectly. I actually drew her down to three bucks on it. Um, said they got rid of it because it didn't have HDMI. Um, I still use VGA on a lot of my stuff, so that's not a problem with me. And for three bucks to have a spare monitor, and it looks like that's like a 19 inch. So I thought that was a pretty good little bargain. And uh, what else did I get? Oh, I got another one of these. You know, it's weird. I found these at two different garage sales, but it's this Tuck Geek Show. Uh, light controllers are actually led and there's two of them in there and i gave a buck for that too and i think that is about it uh, like i said it was kind of kind of slim pickings not a whole lot out there i think i think i scored good my my big scores are obviously this uh vintage uh nico stereo with the pioneer speakers and the laptop but uh anyway you know for for as much drive selling as I did, that's not a whole lot of haul. And I mean, like I said, 7, 12, and 15, what is that, 27 and 7, that's 34 garage sales I hit over uh, over three days, or four days, and 100 plus miles driving. So you really got to be out there hunting. I did hit one garage sale, actually it's local to me, about five miles away. There was a whole barn full of stuff, but... It was like some hoarder that had passed away and they were the family i guess was just selling it out it's kind of like an estate sale but uh the problem with it was is that i could only reseed the top boxes and they hadn't they hadn't unboxed anything god knows what it was probably a treasure chest but i didn't have all day and it was filthy old nasty garage to go you know lifting boxes down and digging through every box in the garage that and they were kind of weird as far as you know most of it they said 80 percent of it's for sale so i had a feeling if i found anything really nice in there that they'd holler well that's not for sale so i kind of walked away from that but that might have been the biggest hoard i found but it was just too much junk in amongst uh maybe some good finds um just gonna write them off um just want to kind of give you my weekly uh weekly weekly hole on my my garage sale hunt so it was it was so so i saw a lot of garage sales and not a whole lot of i think you're enjoying this series um like i said i'm gonna get a little more detailed and at the first of this video i kind of provided you with some statistics and i think i'll start doing that every week and kind of let you know the real world of a uh, of garage well hunting garage sale hunting and not all the glamour and edit out all the garage sales they didn't find nothing and you know i see a lot of these garage sale videos out there it looks like they just go out to every garage sale and they find you know millions of dollars worth of stuff and believe me i'm out in i'm out in it and uh it ain't that way it's a lot of duds a lot 
I would say 80 to 90 percent are duds and uh, you're lucky if you hit 10 percent of decent garage sales in a weekend so anyway uh day guys if you haven't already, please thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. The little bell there, hit that and uh, really help me out. I'm really trying to grow this channel. Again, have a great day. This is Electron Man.